Hi guys, I'm Philip English and welcome to the top 14 fulfilling mobile robots. This is where I do a roundup of the latest mobile robot platforms, fulfillment systems and next generation AGVs. For this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Frank Toby from The Robot Report, who has given me permission to use his content so I can put this video together. And don't forget guys, if you're looking to get your hands on any of the robots in my videos, then please visit robofill.com where you can find out where to get them. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Automatic guided vehicles and mobile platform systems are designed to work across multiple environments. DCs, warehouses and factories. They are autonomous systems that can be fitted with special purpose payloads such as for receiving, restocking, infantry, moving material from work cell to work cell, picking, supporting human pickers and packing and palletizing. Many vendors have provided AGVs, carts, lifts and tows and have done so for many years. The older versions of the systems use markings, tapes, beacons, sensors and other things on the floor and ceilings to provide location information. Newer systems use the latest 3D vision systems, collision avoidance and mapping software to easily enable autonomous point-to-point -point navigation. Although vision systems and grasping technologies have improved since then, they still aren't fast enough and flexible enough to replace humans. So instead, most new systems attempt to augment humans by reducing what they have to carry and the distance that they have to travel to get the items that were ordered. Starting with mobile platform systems, we're looking at the Mir 100, which is from Mobile Industrial Robots, a Danish startup headed by Thomas Visti, who is VP at Universal Robots. Mir 100 is a user-friendly and efficient mobile robot for automation of internal transport and logistics solutions. It has two scanners and a 3D camera to make sure that it sees people and obstacles and has a carrying capacity of 100 kilos and a towing capacity of 300 kilos. Clear Path Robotics. Clear Path Robotics is offering two transporters, one for heavy loads of up to 1500 kilograms and others for light loads of up to 100 kilograms. Both can be fitted with carrying carts, bin carrier or a plain flat plate. And both have intuitive lighting systems similar to white headlights in the front and red in the rear. Moving on to the fulfillment systems, I am Robotics. I am Robotics is a Pittsburgh startup founded by a couple of Carnegie Mellon University grads. It is the only vendor that uses a robot arm to grip goods. It 3D scans and identifies items to be picked into a cloud library and then uses a mobile picking robot to go up and pick the items. Place them in a tote and then place the completed tote on the nearest conveyor to a packing station. Locust Robotics. Locust Robotics, a Massachusetts based company, found specifically an answer to the Kiva situation by an old Kiva using DC owner. The Kiva situation is where they can no longer purchase Kiva robots. It uses a fleet of robots integrated into a current warehouse management system to provide robotic platforms to carry picked items to a conveyor or to a packing station, thereby reducing human walking distance and improving overall picking efficiencies. Six River Systems. Six River Systems, a Massachusetts startup comprised of ex-Kiva execs, is currently on stealth mode. VCs have seen the Six River System and they valued it highly. Six River has just got $6 million in financing from a group of VCs including iRobot, so watch this space. Fetch Robotics. Fetch Robotics, a Silicon Valley startup that uses two different robots, one to pick and the other to assist workers as they pick by carrying the items and taking completed orders to the shipping station autonomously. Magazino. Magazino, a German startup, has a mobile picking system that is a retractable and rotatable column with a gripping system and a removable shelf. It's able to grasp rectangular objects from small soft covers to shoe boxes and up to heavy cases. The robot stores item in a built-in shelf and delivers it to a shipping station. Grey Orange. 
Grey Orange is an Indian startup has a system and product line strikingly similar to Kiva's original offering, except their robot is square and Kiva's is round. Great Orange has over 300 employees and its robots provide services to the Indian e-commerce giants, Flipkart, Jaybong and Mahindra, and has been signing distribution partners in Japan and throughout Asia and the Pacific. Invia Robotics Invia Robotics is a Southern California startup with two robots very similar to Fetch Robotics, except Invia's method of picking is similar to Magazino's. It grabs items and slides them onto a platform which then slides the item into a bin. And when the order is complete, slides it onto an autonomous mobile delivering robot. Swisslog Swisslog, 96% owned by KUKA AG, has two divisions. Healthcare and material handling. Their Carry Pick Materials Handling AGV is quite similar to Kiva Systems in that the carry pick lifts and moves shelves to a packing station. It uses four clamp-on devices to lift and move the shelves while Kiva has a single screw-on mechanism. Grenzibag. Grenzibag is a family-owned group of German industrial automation companies that has previous ventures with both KUKA and Swisslog. It has a mobility device that they call Carry, which can handle different types of shelves moves along the floor reading barcode stickers for localization and brings the shelf to the picker and packer. Next we're moving on to next generation AGVs. These are vision guided robots. Armed with low cost LiDARs and connect light infrared 3D camera systems, new players like Anthon and Seagrid enter the market with new capabilities, including being able to autonomously unload containers, Vision Guide Robotic Lifts, Tugs and Platforms. Starting with Anthon. Anthon is a Pittsburgh based provider of autonomous tugs using hospitals and factories. Some of their AGVs have been outfitted for secure medication delivery and all of their robots are assisted with the Cloud Command Center, a 24-7, 365 remote monitoring service to get the tug out of whatever unplanned situation in which it finds itself. Seagrid. Seagrid, also based in Pittsburgh, has focused their vision guided kits and lifts on the distribution centre marketplace. Seagrid has also partnered with forklift manufacturer Raymond to integrate the vision guided systems onto Raymond lifts. Balio. Balio, a French manufacturer of handling robots, has recently partnered with Lindy and Heister Yale integrate and provide their vision guided systems onto forklift trucks and tows manufactured by Lindy and Yale. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the 14 fulfilling mobile robots. I'm your host Philip English and I want to say thank you again to Frank Toby from the Robot Report for letting me use his content. Please visit my RoboFill online store if you want to find out where to procure any of the robots in my videos and to find out where to get lots of other robots you can add to your collection. Now if you like this robot video and want to see even more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information and web links for your review. If you have any questions or want to see any other robot tutorials or review videos then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and looking forward to see you next time.